coastal Maine is feeling the effects of the opioid crisis. At least one person died of an overdose every day last year in that state. And as Kenneth Craig shows us, the crisis is also taking a toll on the lobster industry, where fishermen often suffer in silence, afraid to ask for help. Josh Kane has spent more than 15 years fishing off the coast of Maine. For 10 of those years, he struggled with an opioid addiction as his fellow lobstermen looked the other way. It's one of those things that's kind of like don't ask, don't tell. You know, as long as you show up every day and do your job, you know, nobody's really going to say anything. They're a tough, proud, and private bunch with grueling hours and serious physical demands. But the payoff can easily be in the six figures for the short summer season. Economist Charles Rutledge says much of that money is going up in smoke. Millions of dollars of income that otherwise should be spent in our coastal communities is being lost to heroin and to diverted prescription drugs. Here in Washington County, economic leaders say the impact of the opioid epidemic on the lobster industry could easily affect an entire generation. You look around a coastal town, you have a sense of the value of the catch coming in. That new roof, that investment that should have come from a series of good years just isn't. 376 people died of drug overdoses last year in Maine, the vast majority from opioids. Kane eventually got help and hasn't abused painkillers in seven years. He now works with the local treatment center where a third of the clients are fishermen. Asking for help is perceived as a weakness. You know, if we break a finger out here, we're supposed to just shrug it off and, and, and then to, to admit that, that something's got you beat and, and held down is a hard thing for a fisherman to come to terms with. Working side by side, he hopes to reach a community that's used to navigating troubled waters alone. Kenneth Craig, WBZ News, on the coast of Maine.